Hello, am I live? Can you see me? Hello, oh my lord. That's been so long since I did a live. I was trying to do it on my phone like a normal human being, but <laughs> I switched up my phone and now I don't know how this is working. How are you all doing? Can you hear me? Do you hear me? Are, you, are we okay? Are we live? Listen, it's been so long. Can you hear me? Am I here? Do you see me? Should I be checking on my, on my channel? Like, am I okay? Yes, yes, okay, yes, perfect. Great, I am so excited. How are you doing? How are you doing? I've had such a day. Can we talk about my day? <laughs> I like that I'm asking you like you have an option, but to listen to my day, listen. I smell like I woke up in a container because I've been so stressed all day. And what I really need is a bath. Instead, I'm here. I woke up early this morning and I fixed today's video and then I got the BH Cosmetic Citrine palette. So naturally, I had to film with that as well. And since I'm doing my new makeup releases tomorrow, I just put it up today. So I don't know if you have the, the option to see both videos, but <laughs> it's been such a day. I literally just put it up and wow. Two videos in the live in one day. Who do I think I am? Oh my lord. So happy to see all of you here. Hi. Oh my god. Making corn chili for dinner. That sounds yummy. You know what? I, did, I didn't have dinner and I probably won't have time because I do have a raid in about an hour. So <laughs> I don't think that that will be, uh, that that will be possible. Um, I'm excited too. You know what? I want to show you how it comes. Okay, let me quick. quick I, I say quick story. This is probably not going to be a quick story. Semi quick story. Semi quick story. I I got a message from YouTube quite quite like recently after I hit 100k, which was some time ago now. They sent me a message being like, "Hello, we're sending you your plaque," and then they sent me the tracking, and it all of a sudden my tracking said that it had been delivered. In Sweden, you can't. In Sweden, you can't leave something outside of someone's door and say that it's delivered, like literally have to hand it over to someone. Like someone has to sign, you have to show your ID. It's a whole ordeal. So them saying it's delivered means that either, either it gets stolen or they said that they delivered it, but <laughs> let's just say it wasn't delivered. Let's just say it wasn't delivered. So actually, um, YouTube has been researching what's been going on with my delivered plaque for quite some time. And then they, they decided to just send another one because I, I mean, I didn't receive it. And I told that to them. I'm like, listen, if it did indeed get delivered to me, um, trust me, I would have showed it because I'm pretty proud of this. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty proud of it. And yeah, I think someone stole my plaque. So somewhere in Sweden, there is someone with uh, Aniel Kemnikvist's plaque. Uh, maybe they scratched out my name and just put the right. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I wanted to show you how it came. Okay. I'm not going to dox myself, so I'm going to try and not. But it came with the box and it has my address and it says YouTube on the box. And then on the inside, it's not a big box. <sighs> and it, it looks like this. And there's a little foam here. And I sometimes, okay. Sometimes you get things from YouTube or like from Google that you don't know you're going to get. So I wasn't really prepared that this was the plaque because last time I talked to Google, they were like, we are still in the search. Like they were still deciding what to do. And all of a sudden it showed up and you get some, some like recognize your team, share the recognition by allowing your team to purchase a personalized creator award to purchase. Wait, what? To purchase authorized copies of your creator award email, really? Oh, so I can give it to my team. I don't have a team. You want? Do you think my husband wants one? And this is what it looks like. Oh my god! Can I buy a plaque for my husband? Can I buy a plaque for Tesla? He has been contributing to this channel. Um, maybe I should put one at, at his water bowl. To be fair, I mean, I do owe a lot of my success to him. But yeah, it comes in plastic. I mean, put the. And it comes in plastic and look at it. And there's like foam on the back or like not foam, but like it's like textile. I don't know if you can see. No, because it's like it's almost like velvet. It's like a velvety. And then it's the plaque and it says presented to Anil Kandikvist for passing 100,000 subscribers. 
you know, when I started YouTube, I thought as people who had 100,000 subscribers were like not superstars, but I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I never thought that I would see one of this and I can't believe I own one. It's quite crazy. We were talking about this um, the other day, like it's one thing to see 100,000 on the screen. It's one thing to, to be like, you know, you see things online and it's, it's real, but it's not real. And getting this was like, it's not a scam. Like I actually did, <laughs> actually did do this. Google is like, you know what? We agree. You did reach <laughs> subscribers. I, I just think it's so cool. I really like that they, they, I think they've redone this now so that it is in metal because there's no frame and there's no glass. It's like brushed metal and then there, it's just shiny metal. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, obviously I am super excited and super proud and yeah, exactly, exactly this that Emily, uh, am I putting the right one? No, here, Emily, over 100,000 people is a lot to visualize in a more tangible way. Yeah, this is like, this is like, at least it's something because I, I mean, I am, what am I like a millennial? I I'm, I'm like at the, at the cusp of the generation that like realizes and recognizes that social media and things that happen online is real. Like the, you can be friends with someone without ever meeting them in real life. Like the, the things that happen online are real, even though you can't touch them. Like, I feel like I am part of the, the, the first generation to, to realize that, but still it, feels a little bit surreal and this is just like such a tangible way to be like this happened um because like I, if you've been on my channel for a long time you know that like when I started my channel I remember saying that what if I one day hit a thousand subscribers like a thousand people that's so many people and this is like a hundred thousand which is mind-blowing this this is a, the amount of people that live in the city that i live in and i don't live in the smalls and i don't live in a big city but in sweden <laughs> i don't live i don't live in a small city sweet swedish standards i felt like there was a oh yeah this was really cute this was like um where congratulations on your subscriber it's a little card on your subscriber milestone we are honored to take part in rec recognizing your achievements and want to experience your experience to be exceptional and then it's like this award was inspected and packaged with great care by and then it's uh, signed by the person who packaged my i thought that was really cute i really i really like that so i mean should i put it in the background like what am i gonna do am i gonna put it in the background <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Heather. That is so cute. Thank you so much. So, so sweet of you. Um, I am, I am very appreciative. Um, I've been watching since 2015, uh, back in the golden days. I remember when I started YouTube, because I started my channel in English because I felt like my English was decent. I had, de I had decent, decent English. Um, we learn English from when you start school in Sweden. And I had been at that point playing so much World of Warcraft, been like, we were raiding five, six times a week. And I was always talking so much English. And I was like, I can do this. I can do this. So, but now that I look back at my old videos, I'm like, what is this English? <laughs> what is this English? So it's kind of fun to see like the new videos versus the old videos, because like, practice really does make perfect and i'm not perfect but boy just speaking again and again and again it really makes you feel more comfortable with different uh, pronunciations but still there are so many things that so many things that i am saying wrong like today that word that you were saying oh, i put the i put the palette away the the shade that i was wearing i had no idea i've never heard that word before like ever ever <laughs> i don't know what that was i don't know what that was um Oh my God, yes. Uh, I know it's so cringy to watch my old videos back. I, I'm the same. Sometimes I see people uh, like comment on an old video. I'm like, do not. <laughs> no, really, I, I, I do appreciate it. But sometimes it's like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, thank you so much, Sally. Thank you for being colorful. Thank you for being here. I really, I mean, I, I, I've said this before. I'm trying to embrace all colors, including brown, because I want to love everything. I mean, I'm even wearing some browns today. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. I want to, I want to love neutrals as much as I love color, but 
I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I just, I'm just so happy by wearing color, and this yellow made me really, really happy. Um, this is something that I, I know. Sometimes people get upset when I'm like saying that I don't love neutrals or. In the beginning of my channel, I was even more like harsh with like who asked for this with neutral palettes. But some people have to understand that when I started YouTube, people were saying the exact same thing about colorful palettes. And they were like, who's asking for this? Who's wearing this? Ugh, ugly clown makeup. This isn't wearable. Nobody's wearing this. And I just wanted to be like the opposite. I just wanted to to be like, I wear this, I like this, it's okay to love colors, and it's not clown makeup, and it's not ugly, and it's not unwearable, and I just wanted to maybe exaggerate a little bit, and be like, who asked for this boring brown palette, just to, I don't know, just to show that there are other paths to go than just being like, neutrals, which is pretty too, I mean, I'm basically half neutral today. Uh, oh yeah, I love that brown and blue so pretty and especially when it comes to fashion. Oh, there's been so many good like chocolate brown and like uh, blue combos in fashion. Oh, oh, love it. Love it. Uh, oh, this, some people ask me sometimes if I count or if I think in Swedish or English and sometimes it's both and I confuse myself. <laughs> I confuse myself so much, um, especially when I'm trying to count. I will start like one, two, three, and then I come to like 25 and I get confused and I start in Swedish. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard. Um, uh, oh, can you react to your first video type of thing? The first video that I ever did is still up on YouTube. I have privated some videos on YouTube because I feel like we all like we grow and sometimes we say stuff, we look back at it and like maybe this wasn't the, the best way I could have put this or um, especially like you say stuff and you look back at it and like maybe this is a little bit unsensitive or this this opinion doesn't like really reflect me anymore. So I will uh, private things now if I'm like, I don't want people to get the wrong idea of me because we all grow and, and hopefully become a better version of ourselves. And I'm definitely a better version of myself than just like a year ago and definitely five, six years ago. Um, but my first video that I ever did, that video is live on my channel. Um, and I remember I was so confused. I filmed it and I was like, editing, editing. <laughs> I was so confused. I did not know what I was doing, but it was fun though. I mean, it was fun though. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. Uh, my husband speaks so many languages. I just, I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand. I remember we were going to France and he was like, I don't even know French. And then he was like chit-chatting about the weather with the, the waiter and I was trying to, to decipher the menu. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with people that speak more than like two languages. Because in Sweden, everyone is bilingual. Like, you have to understand in Sweden, everyone speaks two languages everyone speaks english to a point and give it one more generation then basically the whole country is going to be fluent in two languages because it just is that way here oh my i am so impressed sixth language ricardo knows five and i think that is very very impressive um i i i i i i two is enough <laughs> <laughs> two is enough oh it's the same in uh, bulgaria that english is mandatory yeah in sweden it is you can't even finish high school without passing in, in english actually like you uh you can't go to the university in sweden without ha passing english like you're not even welcome it's it's fascinating actually and maybe a bit scary that we are putting so much weight to another language but on the other hand like sweden like swedish isn't a big language like this this isn't the language that everyone needs to uh, needs to know about let's be honest where would you put the plaque you know what um somewhere uh this room it literally looks like a sephora threw up in here like the, the <laughs> This room is a mess. Everything from my latest haul and everything from my latest ranking that is coming up next week, plus all the packaging for it, is just in a pile on the floor. And I want to say that I'm kidding, but I'm not. It is just on the pile on the floor and it is shameful. Uh, so I need to sort this out this weekend um, just to be able to walk in here, I'm going to be honest. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely agree definitely agree playing video games is such a good way of learning another language uh, or learning english you can play on like you know, there's like russian and spanish servers and i think there are french servers as well on, on a bunch of games 
Um, yeah, it definitely pushes you out of your comfort zone because you get to talk to so many people. <laughs> yeah, I can put it on my bedroom wall. That's a good idea. This is this is my BFF, uh, Lisa, by the way. You've seen her in my vlogs. I'll put it on my bedroom wall, Lisa. Wall, Lisa. That's perfect. <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can. Uh, who else wants to see a room tour? Listen, nobody wants to see this mess. It is so bad. It is so bad. It is so bad. But I kind of want to do, like, before we move, I was even talking about this with my friends, that before I move, I kind of want to do this room to the best of, like, that it can be and just do, like, a this is what the room looked like. Um, I am filming my declutter soon though. Usually every year I do a declutter series of like five or six parts or something I don't even remember. And I am going to film that, uh, pre-film it a little bit uh, because it takes some time to edit and get stuff ordered and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, after my declutter, I think I'm going to see if I, what I can do. But the room is, the room is a mess. Um... <laughs> Let me see. Yes, we want a room tour. I, I, I will try, Karen. I will try. Hi, Karen. No baby yet. Where's the baby? Karen, where's the baby? Where's the baby H? <laughs> where's the baby H? Uh, oh, my God. Um, yeah, this, this, this moving part, like me, I know a lot of people are asking about the moving and trust me, listen, nobody wants this to be done more than me because it is a mess. It is so messy. But I mean, to tell you the parts that I am 100% sure about, my husband has gotten a job. We are moving to another country. And that is why we are basically going to sell everything we own. We're going to pack the things that we want to keep in boxes and send those over. And we're going to start fresh. Of course, we're bringing the pets. But I will talk more about this when I know. And yeah, that is also why I haven't really been taking care of this room. Because I know that I will be packing it up soon. But it is a, it is a little bit of a mess it is a little bit of a mess um <sighs> yeah that is true and not, not to shamelessly plug and just vlog channel but there is a good amount of room content on her uh, vlog channel it is uh, i do show uh, good parts of my apartment in my vlog channel so if you are interested in seeing how my apartment looks and like stuff like that is definitely um in, in, in my, on my vlog channel. It is linked up below in case you're interested. Yes, yes, we do know. Uh, not everything is set in stone and that's why I don't really want to talk about it. But I mean, there is there is a university that has hired my husband. So hopefully things will, hopefully things will uh, end up, end up a <laughs> good way. I don't know. Oh my God, it's so stressful. I, I have a love-hate relationship with moving. I don't know if you feel the same way, but I love the best. One of the best feelings there is, is when you have moved and everything you own is in that new place and you close the door and you eat the pizza on the floor for the first night and you just like, everything I own is here. Like all I need to do is unpack. That is the best feeling in the world. The worst feeling in the world is when you're standing on a pile of shit that apparently belongs to you and you don't know what to do with it. And you're like, so what now? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's um uh it could be that lighting is dull. I am filming this. I usually film it on my uh phone, but now I'm just doing it on my laptop. I'm not doing this with my professional camera. I know there are people out there that are tech wizards and they're doing this with their uh with their actual camera. I don't know anything about that. So I'm just doing this on my laptop, uh on my editing slash gaming laptop. So I think it's okay. Do you think the quality is horrible? Like, I would never film a tutorial like this because I'd like, I want you to see. But when we're just chatting, uh, when we're just chatting, I think it's, uh, oh, yeah. I, oh, my God, Susan, we're in the process of moving now. I get it. I wish you all the luck. Remember that feeling like when you're going to sit on the floor with the pizza the first night? Just keep that in mind that you're going to get there uh, eventually. Get that eventually. What are my favorite themes? <laughs> well, I am. Um, Willow Walker will uh, forever, forever be uh, my favorite game. Um, it will forever be my favorite game. So I am definitely that. I do still play League of Legends and I actually really love Sims. I still play Sims uh, a lot. I don't play a lot of other games. And if you've ever played World of Warcraft, you will know that that game never ends. <laughs> There's always something you could be doing. So if you're playing another game, all you can think about is like, I could be farming, I could be doing dailies. So it's just a never ending game. And if you really love a game, 
like you kind of want to play it all the time yeah karen thank you for for shaming me for not knowing um but yeah i was gonna do it on my phone but then i remembered that i haven't uh properly fixed the the headset for the phone the one that's wireless because these new iphones don't have it don't get me started on it i'm not a tech whiz so i'm gonna get it fixed i just don't have time to do a lot of lives now but I kind of wish I kind of wish I had more time, but like you heard today, I've been working from seven in the morning until I sat down to do this, and it's just it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, Magdalena. I recently ate pizza on the floor of my very own apartment. It's special, yeah. <laughs> Dogs looking at you like our dog is like, if it's on the floor, it's mine. If I try to listen i wonder how that's gonna be because if it's on the floor it's his are we even gonna be able are we even gonna be able to eat pizza on the floor um oh wait here i want to answer this one i don't play uh that much regular league of legends anymore i basically play tft team fighter tactics the most but when i used to play the normal uh, tft there i used to play ranked and i used to play support uh, my name was nami I love Nami. Nami is the best. Nami is the best. <sighs> I love Sims. I actually watched, uh, while I was fixing some um, emails, I watched the newest video from Lil Simsy. I don't even know if it was the newest video on YouTube. She was showing that there's a new like plant kit coming for Sims. I can't make plants in real life survive to save my life. All the plants you see in my apartment or in this our apartment they're all here alive thanks to to ricardo i i forget i forget i totally forget but uh in sims when i don't have to water them I, listen this is why i didn't buy the farm packs every time i buy the the things to grow in sims i forget them and they die forget them and they die um <laughs> Uh, uh, uh yeah karen get that baby out get get the ba get the baby out <laughs> we want to see her i hope i hope uh, things go smoothly uh oh yeah listen i play diablo as soon as they release something new i have a barbarian called barbie the barbarian you don't you don't mess with barbie the barbarian <laughs> Um, is there a movie franchise that you would like to see in Spiral Palette? That's a really good question. That's a really, really good question. I wonder. Hmm. Not that I can think of on the top of my head, but like, hmm. It's really good. Do you have anything? Do you, do you have anything that you would like to see? Uh, I did talk a little bit about this in the beginning. Basically, um, I think someone stole my first plaque. It said delivered, but it wasn't delivered, so they sent me a new one. So yeah, that was a little bit sketchy. They've been they've been kind of researching where it where it ended up, <laughs> so they sent me a new one. Um, uh, no, I didn't play Witcher, but I really like the series um i mean who can dislike the series he's like half naked throughout the entire show what's not to love what's not to love i would like to play witcher though i feel like it's one of those games that people really really love like they love witcher i haven't got a nintendo switch but you know what i do have i have one of those old like they bought I bought, they um, released these like SNES, like Super Nintendos in these little ones. You could plug directly to the TV and it had games built in on it. So I could play like Super Mario and Super Nintendo. Big fan. That That is that is amazing. I love that. Uh, yes, I did watch Loki. I love Marvel. I think, uh, I think I've watched everything. I haven't seen Eternals yet. Was it good? Did you see it? Did you see Eternals? It is, did it premiere today? I think it premiered today um, in Sweden. I haven't seen it though, but I really want to see it. But as you can see, today was not the best day to, um, uh, <laughs> today was not the best day to be going to the movies, but I don't have anything planned for this weekend. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to see Eternals. Um... <laughs> If Angie gets a switch, we'll never see her again. Listen, 
I am surprised that I am able to play World of Warcraft and still manage other things. Because back when I play World of Warcraft the most, I play World of Warcraft eight to nine hours a day. I'm not even kidding. Eight to nine hours a day. And I was still attending like school and jobs and stuff. Like I did nothing else but play and work, sleep. So I am surprised that I'm like keeping keeping World of Warcraft at the, at the stage that I'm at right now. I feel very adulty. Very adulty. Uh, I did see parts of Outliner, but I didn't see the entire show. I felt like it became a little repetitive. Are you allowed to say that? You were allowed to say that? And yes, we did play Doom. Did you play Doom PC games in your team? I did. Yes, yes, we definitely played. Listen, I have three brothers. I played all of those games. Doom, Half-Life, Quake, Counter-Strike, the whole shebang, all of it, all of it, all of it, literally all of it. Um, oh, that's so sweet, Lauren. Your husband bought you a switch for your anniversary. That's so sweet. I'm gonna buy my husband a new headset because he's wishing for one. Did he hear that now? It's not like it's a surprise. You know, you get to a special like place in your relationship when like stuff like that for us, it's not as it's like. What do you want for Christmas? He's like, I'd love a new headset. It's not like he's going to be surprised to get a new headset. <laughs> he's not going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you bought me the only thing I wished for. <laughs> oh yes, don't get me started about this one. I just saw this one, The Walking Dead. Yes, I, I saw so many seasons of that, but every season started the same, like, the season ended with they had to escape from a place that got infested. They found a new place. They got in intrigues within the group. Stuff got infested. They had to leave. They find a new place in the new season. Like, I, I couldn't. Somewhere, like, season five, I'm like, I'm out. Uh, the, I'm out. <laughs> How did this turn into where's Karen's baby life? Yes, where is Karen's baby? Um... Me and Ricardo speak Swedish. I mean, Ricardo is Swedish. His dad is Italian, but his dad lives here in Sweden. He speaks fluent Swedish. Me and Ricardo speak Swedish, but we do have a lot of friends that only speak English. So, I mean, it comes and goes. Uh, it comes and goes, but we definitely, like, when it's only me and Ricardo, definitely Swedish. But we might, like, throw in, like, phrases and stuff in English, but, uh, yeah, definitely Swedish. Sweets love sweet. Actually... This one, you said in one of your vlogs that people in Sweden love sweets. Which are your favorites? All of them. <laughs> all of them. Give me all of them. No, but honestly, I've heard um, some, can we call it facts? Statistics? I've heard statistics that sweets are actually the population in the world that eats the most candy per capita per year. So uh, I, love, I love candy, which is like my downfall. Like I could live out of chocolate and licorice, like don't even get me started i love sweets i especially love a swedish chocolate by marabou and i love poly i think you can find both at ikea like if you go to ikea go to their food section and try swedish chocolate you can thank me later i also love licorice but i do realize that that is a bit of a swedish thing um mm -mm 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 -mm. good books um I, I will say I have been pretty busy lately. So the only books I've been reading are like the historical romance things. Like I just want to have like they meet in chapter one. And then at the end they get married. Like I that's that's all I want. Like I can't think beyond that right now. But I did read the entire Bridgerton series and I really liked it. You know what? I liked it. You know what I like the most about it? Like it's it follows a bit of the same pattern as all of the other like romance books. Um, but what I liked about the books is the witty uh, dialogue. The, the author is really good at writing witty dialogue. And I actually took all the books and I gave it to my mom. I met her last weekend. So I was like, here you go. So uh, my mom is actually retiring uh, this January. So I'm like, this is for January, mom. This and chocolate in January. Uh, <laughs> um, this is interesting um, uh, red or black licorice in Sweden we don't call red licorice licorice that is not licorice in Sweden black licorice the end 
the end um i would love again to go live with other people the main reason why i stopped doing lives is that i i was having my ups and downs i think we all have that but i was having my ups and downs and i was afraid to commit to going live and then feeling really discouraged or not feeling like the best version of myself and having to force myself to be the kind of person that I didn't really want to be like I want to if I want to go live I want it to be like today when I'm like happy and energetic and want to talk to you I didn't want it to be a day where I'm like I just want to have snacks on my belly while laying on the couch watching Netflix playing games on my on my uh like phone. I, so I didn't want to commit and take up other people's time uh, if it's not going to be perfect. So that's actually why I stopped doing uh, lives with others because it, it was, I, I, I felt like I couldn't really trust my own uh, um, mood. <laughs> I couldn't trust my own mood, really. <laughs> we would not call Twistlers licorice here. That is not licorice. I'm sorry. Don't shoot me. Uh, according to me, that is um, not licorice. And come to me. Mm. Uh, this is a fun one. Uh, do you happen to almost recognize us when we comment on your videos daily? Uh, yes, I do recognize like uh, thumbnails and the way that some people comment in the same kind of pattern or uh, your little pictures or your names. Like I remember that. I know some people that have been with me for years and years and years and I recognize them. And yeah, I definitely, and I think that sometimes I read all my comments, but I definitely don't have time to answer them. And I wish I did. I remember that there was a time in my channel career when I answered all my comments, but I do get several hundred comments a day and I wouldn't be able to do anything but answer comments and create content. Like it would be instead of sleeping, like I, something has to give. So I go in and I answer a bunch and then I read all of it. And then I go in and I answer some or heart them. and but. Yeah, I do definitely, definitely recognize uh, you, your comments when I see them. Uh, for, for instance, like Brenda, I recognize you. I see you all the time in the comments. So I definitely recognize you. So I do recognize a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> I love white chocolate. But I will say, when I say that, there is always someone that's like, that's not chocolate. And I get it. I do. But I love the taste of it. I just, I don't know. What would be a more proper name for it? But I do love it. <laughs> I, I think it's so tasty. So tasty. And there's a new, new, wow, revolutionary. But in Sweden, you can find, you can buy something that's, it's not called, I don't remember what it's called. I think they call it blonde chocolate. And it is a 50-50 mix of white chocolate and milk chocolate. Don't get me started about how amazing that is. So amazing. You can find it at Ikea in Sweden. It's absolutely amazing. I buy it all the time when I uh, when I go. Um, what kind of do you hate? That is um that is a fun question. I don't like um like hmm, but I do like some of that too. I'm like Am I picky? I'm not that much into those super hard candies that are super sour or super salty. Like I can enjoy them from time to time, but it's not something that I would buy myself. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's any that I'm like, why? I kind of like all of them. I don't discriminate. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like Americans are great with a lot of things like ice cream. Americans rock at ice cream, but your candy aisle? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. How do you organize your bookshelves? They are so full. You know what I do? I shove it in. I shove it in. There is no organization to be had. But I have actually, uh, bo most of my books are pocket books because I used to read mainly when I was on buses and trains because I used to commute. I think, yeah, I've talked about that so much. I used to commute. I commute uh, one and a half hour to my job and then one and a half hour back. So I used to bring pocket books and I read them. So uh, most of my books are pockets. So I'm actually going to declutter most of them when I move. Don't come to me. For the Lord. I play Troll Mage. I have Troll Mage. Um, mm -mm. Oh, that I agree. That I agree. We have good chocolate and sweets in the UK. Mm -hmm. I've had really good sweets in the UK. My, I feel like my my lips are a bit chappy. 
whoever recommended this one to me, you need an award. Let me let me get you one of these plaques. I love this. It's so good. Mm. It is that uh, banana kiss, the hangover pillow bomb. Don't sleep on this one. It is fantastic. It is so good that I'm thinking about getting another one. They have other scents and I'm like, <laughs> I really want to get it. I did mention it in one of today's videos. Listen, it's in the blur. Did I disappear? Am I back? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did you see me? Am I back? Do you see me? Uh... <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw a fun one here. Um, yeah. I, I found him. I found him the other day just standing like this. <laughs> I think he likes the scent of it. He's also a very big lover of candy. Uh, I'm sorry I accidentally did something. I'm here. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, never leave us again. <laughs> I can't make any promises like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Blue Richards. Um, I also recognize so much in the comments. We're just talking about like people you recognize. Uh, how many countries have you already visited and which one was the most beautiful? That is a very... Hmm... I have been in a lot of countries. I have been very, as a very fortunate to be able to travel a lot. Um, I've talked about this before. Me and my husband have had steady incomes. We don't have any kids. We don't have any loans. So we have put a lot of money into traveling because traveling is amazing. Uh, so we've been able to visit quite a lot of places together. I think we were both very taken aback, like how amazing Japan was. Like we love Japan. We definitely want to go back. We were actually planning to go back to Japan in 2020, but then 2020 happened. So we didn't go back, uh, but we still really want to go back to Japan. We also love Greece. We love Greece so much. We're actually like our plan in the future, like our dream in the future is to have a vacation home in, in, in Greece. I love Greece. We've been to Greece um <laughs> we've been to Greece several times oh my god no oh my god no I didn't <laughs> I didn't I didn't I just accidentally pressed back and ended up in a in a weird place uh no I have not but I've heard it's beautiful I would love to go there are so many places I would love to go so many places I would love to go um uh, I've been to Cyprus um Okay, long story short, I've been to the north of Cyprus way back, in, <laughs> representing Sweden in a beauty pageant. Yes. <laughs> I still have my sash uh, in the basement, uh, like Miss Sweden, don't come for me. But yeah, I've been to Cyprus, it's beautiful. I would love to go back. Um, it's really beautiful. Uh... <laughs> I haven't been to Santorini, but I've been to uh, islands around Santorini, and I loved it. My favorite was uh, Milos. I love Milos. I thought Milos was absolutely amazing. I would love to go back. I thought it was so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big, 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 big fan. I have not been to Poland, but I've actually heard that Poland is a great country to visit as a tourist. So... Uh, I do know that they have like the, Poland has amazing beaches towards like the same oceans as us, but just a little bit more south, so not as cold as in Sweden. Um, I have been to Spain three times. I've been to Mallorca, I've been to Barcelona, and I've been to Madrid. I liked it. I really like Spain as well. I love Spanish food. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, unfortunately, separated, very different. Yes, 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 yes. I definitely know. I think most people that travel to Cyprus from Sweden do go to the southern part because that is more the touristy part. But that is not what the, where the beauty pageant was. <laughs> that, is, that is not not where the beauty pageant was. Uh, maybe this this is an interesting one. Maybe this is the prettiest place I've ever been. I've been to Cozumel in Mexico. Am I pronouncing that correctly? And I stepped out of. I went there like with boat and then I stepped out of the bus and I just saw the beach and the first thing I said was 
oh, so this is where they take all the postcards. I have never seen a beach so pretty as in Mexico. It is definitely on my list of places I would love to go back to because, oh boy, Mexico was beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Where would you like to travel if you could travel? Like, where would you like to go? For me, it's definitely Japan. I would love to go to Japan. Again, I would love to go back to Japan. I know that uh, Ricardo really wants to go to New Zealand as well. And I that's that's really pretty. I would love to go back to Iceland as well. It's so pretty. So pretty. Um, no, I haven't. But I kind of want to. I really like the trailer. I thought it was a fun trailer. Um, I don't know. There's something about... Some, sometimes trailers take themselves too serious. They're like, this is such a badass action movie. Like, he gets put in a really bad situation. And here he comes, save the day. Like, Venom, the trailer, it was a little bit more humoristic. I like that. I, it doesn't have to be that serious. I have to say, I hated with a burning passion the trailer for Eternals. It was one of those... Oh, I hated it. I hated it. Mm. Didn't like the trailer. I still want to see the movie, but I didn't like the trailer at all. Uh, yeah, we also want to go to back to Japan. So many places we want to see. Mm -hmm. If you go back to Japan, go to Nara. Nara was the amazing. The most amazing. You get to pet the deers. Amazing. Go to Nara. So good. Um... Oh, I love Stockholm too. I really love Stockholm. I feel like Stockholm is such a good um, capital city because it has everything. And maybe not if you go this time of the year because it's very dark. Although in the, in the Christmas time, it's very beautiful with all the decorations. But it's like, it's by the sea. So you can get, like, you can spend two days in Stockholm and have one day of like big city shopping and one day out in nature, taking a boat straight out into nothing. So... I feel like Stockholm is such a good city to just spend like a long weekend in because you can see so many different things. Just like, I don't know, just a couple of days in Stockholm. It's such a beautiful capital. It really, really is. Really, really is. Uh, and yeah, the old parts of Stockholm. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Uh, Emma is asking me, as a sci-fi lover, have you seen the new Dune movie? I have. The question is, have you seen the old Dune movie? Oh, Lord. Okay, so here's the thing. I, the old Dune movie, it came out in 1984, which is, spoiler alert, the year that I was born. So this movie has some years, okay? And I think they were hoping to make this movie into, like, a new Star Wars thing. <laughs> but it's just horrible. Like, the old Dune movie is literally horrible like we were sitting looking at it like this it is so cringy i feel so bad for every actor that was involved in that that one so we watched that one and we watched the new one and even though even though the new dune movie i think it's a good movie i liked it i think it's a little bit too slow for my liking i like when the pace is like a little quicker i still think it's a really good movie <laughs> but like if you think the new Doom movie isn't good you should really watch the old one because there are parts of it where you're like <laughs> oh my god oh my god <sighs> oh my god is there someone say I don't know why people think that I have a fake nose thank you Melissa for saying that though this isn't the nose I'd pick <laughs> Listen, if I paid, like, what is it, like $5,000 to get a nose, you think I'd pick this? I, this isn't the one I'd pick. This isn't the one I'd pick. You'd have to take up the complaints with my, my dad's part of the family if you have complaints about my nose. Listen, I'm not thrilled about the situation either, but it is what it is. I'm not, like I, like I said, uh, yes, like I said, it's the only thing I have left from my dad. I'm keeping it. Uh, no, I have not read the books, but Ricardo had read the books, and uh, I'm usually the one that's at the movies, and I'm like, actually, in the book, like, I'm, I'm, I'm horrible. I'm that person. I'm so horrible. Uh, but now, actually, he was that person, and I kind of enjoyed him <laughs> being that for once. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed him being that person for once. 
Ooh, can I say, I find it so interesting how Americans drink their coffee because Americans drink their coffee so sweet, like a dessert. In Sweden, it's pretty uncommon that people drink any sweetener in their coffee. Like, you know, those liquid sweeteners, that's not a thing here in Sweden. You can't find that here. Like nobody, nobody drinks that. Uh, but a lot of Swedes drink their coffee with milk. I drink my coffee with milk, not too much milk though. My absolute favorite is a cappuccino. That is why I like, I prefer cappuccino over lattes because I feel like lattes is just a little too much milk. Um, but yeah, I, I find it fascinating. All those super, super sweet Starbucks drinks and all like the sweeteners and everything. And usually the coffee in the US, it's not that strong either. So it's like see-through, it's like tea, tea with coffee flavor and then lots of sweetener in it. It's very, very different from the coffee that we have here. Um, yes, strong coffee. Yes, definitely strong coffee. I am wearing the new Beach Cosmetics Citrine Palette. I, I, I did the, the video on it earlier today. Um, and the video is already up because apparently <laughs> that's, the, that's the journey that I, was, um, that I was doing today. We drink Suegas coffee. We really like that one. I don't know if that's available in any other country, but um, we drink the Suegas coffee really like it actually i prefer starbucks coffee to most coffee in the u.s because at least it's usually not that weak um uh, but with that being said of course i don't live in the u.s and it's like the amount of times that i've been in the u.s and the coffee that i've tasted so i can't speak for the entire country of course only for the parts where i've been um <laughs> Flat white or the back of my soul. I do love a really good espresso though. Ricardo drinks espressos. That's what he likes. Um, that's what he likes. Uh, yeah, I. what is creamer, please? I just use milk. Yeah, I just use milk too. Um, I really like, there are, before there, there used to be like oat milk in Sweden that you put in coffee, but I thought it tasted like oatmeal. It's like coffee flavored oatmeal, but now actually the new, um, the new oat milks that they have in Sweden, they actually taste really, really good in coffee. I, I really do like it. Um, so they, they've, they've become a lot better. Um, oh, um, yeah oh my god uh, i know you like fantasy and maybe sci-fi i love sci-fi sci-fi is actually my absolute favorite but i find it so funny that you played in a horror movie but hate watching them i hate watching horror movies but i think that like i tried to explain it to ricardo i hate being scared you know some people are like you know the feeling that being scared makes them feel like they're alive i just get angry i get so pissed if someone scares me I get so upset. I get so angry. When we were watching, because did this movie did we had a soft premiere on it, and I went with my mom. I took my mom to the premiere. Um, this was a long time ago, and it's just it's just like an indie indie horror movie. It's nothing nothing special. Uh, and I was sitting like this during the movie, and my mom's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? You know this movie. You're in this movie. You know who the killer is." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I know they they reshot a couple of things, and I I don't I don't know what's happening." She's like, "How can you cover your eyes in a movie that you're in? Like, you know what's happening. You know who the killer is." But yeah, I, yeah, um, I I can't do it. I can't do it. Not even when I know who's the killer, I can't do it. I, it angers me. It angers me. Uh. <laughs> Uh, which is your Star Wars preferred character? Um, what an interesting question. If I say Jar Jar Binks, will you, will you, <laughs> will you leave? Oh my word. Um, what is my favorite? I, I, I want to say Leia because she's pretty badass. She doesn't need a man to save her. Um, But I mean, I, I'll be honest, I think I like uh, Han Solo the best. Are you allowed to say that? Leia and Han Solo, they're my favorites, I think. <laughs> I love to sing, but I sing horribly. So I never sing when anyone's listening. Like, listen, my singing voice, mm -mm -mm. big no, no, big. No, no, no. I don't even think auto-tune can fix that. 
I don't <laughs> I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, hi, Heather. Heather's here as well. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think your your Binks is that horrible. Okay, I don't listen. I don't think he's that bad. I don't think he's that bad. There are worse characters in the franchise than your your. I can't think of him now, but it, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, suppose you spontaneously meet one of your subscribers and you both have loads of time. What would you do? It depends on where we meet, but we did have a very spontaneous meetup when I was in last time we went traveling before the pandemic. Oh, we were such sweet, innocent summer childs. That was in december slash january of 2019 2020 we just met up at a local mall we went to sephora and then we had lunch together that was amazing i loved that i really really loved it and then we went and tried some local uh like some kind of pastry thing that they were recommending it was lovely that's that's mm. i really like that i love those kind of spontaneous just like take it as it is. I also really love going to like early movies and then having dinner after the movie. I love that. Um, <laughs> I know there's someone worse. I just can't think about it right now. <laughs> God, that is so funny. <laughs> it's true though. It's true though. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the sequels, the new uh, Star Wars movies, I really like episode seven and eight. Nine was not bad, but not ideal. Not bad, but not ideal. That's how I feel. It could have been better. My favorite is number two. Episode two. Whew, episode two is the best Star Wars movie ever. Don't come for me. Don't tell me all of those. Ah, back in the 70s. The world. No, 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 no. Episode two is the best one. Episode two is the best one. Um... <laughs> See? Cancel the list. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, well, actually, I've only sing at karaoke once, once in my life. And that was, um, how old was I? 25, 6 or something? I was working with um, like a men's magazine in Sweden. And we went to the north of Sweden. We were doing it like it's something for the magazine. And basically like FHM, but in Sweden. But it was like another magazine. And, we, and I... I sang karaoke once with the photographer and we sang um, uh, Skid Row. I don't remember the song. What is the song by Skid Row? That's what we sang. <laughs> That's my one and only claim to fame when it comes to the karaoke scene. Um, oh, I wish I was in the bath. Live in the bath. Listen. I cannot have lives in the bath because I am going to nip slip in in an instant. I'm always on polo with my friends in the bath. And I'm like, are you are you seeing stuff you shouldn't be seeing? Just close your eyes. Don't show your husband. No, nobody opened this polo in front of their husbands because I can't, I can't be held responsible for what's going on on this polo. You know what? We did watch Squid Game. I'm the kind of person, I don't know if you're the same. I'm the kind of person that if something gets too hyped, I just like... Mm, Nope, not interested. And I feel like Squid Game got too hyped too fast, so we didn't watch it. But then I was like, listen, I'm going to I'm going to fold to the peer pressure, so we actually did watch it and I liked it, but I'm not sure how I feel about the end. I'm not going to spoil it, but I don't um uh, I don't yeah, I'm not I'm not sure about the end, but I did like the series. I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. I, I it was enjoyable, but I mean, it was like, it was like battle royale again. Like it's not a it's not a new concept, but I liked it. I thought it was I thought it was good. It was definitely watchable. I liked that it. it was not too many episodes. I hate when it's like, 
oh my god you need to watch this series you need to watch it now and then it's like five seasons with 24 episodes in each but that's not happening what do you, th you think i'm made of time you think i have time for two for five seasons with 24 episodes in each that's not happening we're not doing that i'm not i'm not dwelling into that one there's a lot of series that people are recommending i'm like nope it's too far gone i can't commit to that cannot commit to that uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well it's 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 gory okay i'm gonna um yeah it is gory if you don't like blood and stuff don't watch it it's gory gory i don't mind gore i just don't like jump scares gore is fine i don't i don't care about that uh but i don't i don't like i don't like jump scares or like the scary music and stuff nope i can't do it <laughs> see this is the thing i need stuff that only has a season or two like it's what i need no i didn't see breaking bad and it's the the one reason is it's too long it's been going on for too long i can't commit uh, i can't commit to something that's that's been going on for that long uh yes i do agree squid game is about cap uh, cap uh, capitalism it's about like a, I, yeah i'm not gonna spoil it for you but i do think the the end is it's Parts of it is good and parts of it I don't like. Yes, I did watch Shadow and Bone. I think they're coming up with a season two of that one. Um, but I mean, I think everything got a bit postponed due to, to COVID and not being able to like get new episodes going. Um, my degree is in environmental science. I have a bachelor's in environmental science. Um, you can get masters in that there is a really interesting master in sweden about um water ecosystem ish that is within like that my it's like a an added one to my design to my degree which would be really interesting but i'm not 100 percent sure that that is what i want to work with so that's why i haven't like i haven't gotten the masters and i haven't got back to school because i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to read and like I got this degree pretty old like you can always change your mind like my mom went back to university when she was in her 50s it's, it's perfectly fine so I and since university is free in Sweden and I just I'm just chilling to like like see what I really want to I could totally see myself reading something totally different as well um I was very into geoscience before and I do know that there are a lot of courses in environmental geoscience like how the like env environmental factors uh, like pollution and stuff and how it affects like geoscience so that would also be really interesting but i like what would you work with because that is one of the things like sometimes a degree can be so interesting but it's like so what are you going to be <laughs> what are you going to work with like what are you going to work with um uh, yes i find it uh i find it impossible that in a universe of this many stars this many galaxies that we would be the only like this is this like earth is this the pinnacle of like life i l really do think that the universe can do better than this if i'm gonna be honest no shame to humans but we're not perfect let's just put it like that i don't do i believe that aliens have been here that I, that i don't know but the fact the fact that there is life other life in the universe definitely it will be close to statistically impossible that there would not be um <laughs> yeah oh my god i am so sorry i'm so sorry about that um i really wish that more countries had it that way because it, it does provide so many more options so many more options <sighs> Uh, 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 uh. oh i love philosophy i took i took a course in philosophy when i was because in sweden when you finish like high school you can still go to what's basically known as like high school for grown-ups if you missed some courses and there was a couple of courses that i needed to read because i went to restaurant school i've talked about this before i went to chef school and uh, there was a couple of courses that i needed to read to be able to get into university i needed to read one more math course and i needed to read one more geography course but i took for fun i took a course in philosophy and i loved philosophy philosophy is my my thing it's my thing i'm, I'm saying it right now it's my thing 
Um, and my teacher was like, oh my God, you're so good at this. You should really have your degree in this. And I'm like, and be what? And be what? What am I going to work with? Hmm? I'll have a blast during the years at the university, but then what? What am I going to be? <laughs> what What am I going to be? Uh, uh, yes, I don't even know. It's only free to study in Sweden if you are a European Union, like resident, like I think. And also, like I, there are special, there are a lot of schools all around the world that I can enroll in for free, and the Swedish state will pay for it. Like, for example, I, there are schools in the U.S. that I can attend to, and uh, the state will pay for my tuition, which is crazy, but it's it's possible. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Not everyone to get into university. Like, I mean, in the U.S., and this is something that's so fascinating to me, not only U.S., but in, in countries that has like a, uh, you pay to go to university. It's like, it's not necessarily the people that are meant to be doctors that become doctors. Like, what if the best doctors just couldn't afford to go to medical school? In Sweden, the ones with the best grades get in. Get in. Like, you won't be able to be whatever you want in Sweden if you don't have good grades. On the other hand, I mean, are necessarily the people with the best grades going to make the best doctors? Maybe not, but at least they pass science. So I do, I do find it a little bit fascinating. Uh, yes, universities are free in Sweden too, but you do need to have good grades to get into some of the programs are really hard to get into. Like... There are a lot of programs that are very tricky to get into, like architect and some computer stuff and uh, engineering. It can be really tricky. And, and of course, like doctor and stuff like that. Um. <laughs> did I get quieter? Did I do something? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if I did something um were you a straight a student in high school um almost we don't do when i did listen they do now now in school they do a b c d e f but when i went to school we had a different grade system but i do have almost straight a's uh, from high school yes I, I do agree with that. A lot of people that have good grades were not that smart. But I also feel like good grades in a lot of ways either could be like that you uh, have easy to learn or easy to remember stuff or that you're just really committed. I know a lot of people uh, that are very committed and that can also be a really good trait for you to have a lot of professions that uh, you're really committed and you will work for it even though you're not maybe like street smart. Uh, me and Ricardo met through mutual friends. Um, under your ponytail, what do you mean? I don't like... This is this is my extensions, though. I put in my extensions in a ponytail. I do have a video planned where I'm going to show you how I do my ponytail is coming. Um, mm -mm. <laughs> this is an interesting question if you could redo an eyeshadow palette from this year which one would it be and what would you change that is very fascinating i feel like there's been a lot of really good palettes what would i change if i could change a palette i'm trying to look around hmm that's really interesting. I think, okay, this is what I would do. If I could change an eyeshadow palette from this year, I would make all the birthstone uh, palette, uh, palettes from BH Cosmetics not have a press glitter because that series is amazing. And I think a lot of more people would have enjoyed it and bought it and experienced it if it didn't have a press glitter. That's going to be my answer. I wish they didn't do that. I hope they do a new series. Um, uh, I hope they do a new series uh, for next year without press glitters. Um, oh my god, I would just burn the Mac and Cruella palette. Nobody needs to redo that. Just, just burn it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Um, I use the Olaplex shampoo, uh, shampoo and conditioner, like the one I talked about 
in in today's video i really really do like it but i only wash my hair once a week um because i'm trying to keep my hair as like like the more you wash your hair the more you like tear on your hair and if you can train your hair to go longer in between washes it's a really 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 good way uh, to keep your hair healthier longer especially if you have blonde hair um I don't know. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it because I feel like I have so many things that I'm still in the process of trying and also so many things that I'm in the process of enjoying. Like I'm enjoying using them. Like I wore this foundation today, the best skin ever. I like this one. I think it's so good. I've had it on all day. It is almost eight o'clock. Oh, I need to quit soon because I'm actually going to be raiding. I put this on 12 hours ago and it looks so good. 12 hours ago how how this is such a good foundation and I, I like i said i've had it on for 12 hours so good so i just i, I want i want to be like oh my god it's so fun with new makeup but at the same time i'm like but i'm still enjoying the ones i have i'm still enjoying the ones i have um you know what i think i think that uh, thin brows are coming back which is good for me because i have thin brows and i know a lot of people are like please can you go like thin brows again and I just, I always feel like makeup is about experimenting and having fun. So for me, I find it very funny, like entertaining and like uh, refreshing. Maybe it's the rest, uh, the best word, word to follow makeup trends because it's only a trend and it washes off at the end of the night and you get to try different things. So I really, really like that. And if we go back to thin brows, I'm probably going to do thin brows again. And I'm probably going to enjoy it. So, um, so yeah, uh, I, I think thin brows are coming back. I really think the brows are coming back. <laughs> yeah, I, listen, it's coming. Um, it's coming. Um, it's coming. <laughs> I really think a lot of influencers, big influencers as well, have been returning to thin brows. Mm -hmm. I, I really think thin brows are coming back. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, long ride jeans? No, not not doing that. No, 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 no. I'm still trying. To, I'm still trying to get over the fact that there are pictures of me wearing long ride jeans from the last time it was popular. I'm not doing that again. We are not not doing that. Um, we are doing a casual a heroic raid, so we are hoping to clear heroic. I'm still looking for some gear. I need gear from the. Uh, from Keltasad still. Uh, so I am really hoping for that. And I actually have to go and log in. Uh, I mean, how thin are we talking? <laughs> I think the 90s brows are coming back. I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking an elevated Pamela Anderson early 90s. Don't come for me. Don't don't come for me. I think that's what we're having. I think that's what we're having. Um, I am gonna I'm gonna I'm going to actually wrap this up because I am supposed to be live on another computer in a couple of minutes uh, <laughs> and I really need to uh, just wrap this up a bit. This was so much fun. Thank you again. And ooh, I have it here on the floor. If I, if you came in later, my little plaque, it's here. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to see if I can uh, showcase it um, in the back. I'm just so happy and excited. Um, this whole thing has been such a journey and i'm just i'm just so excited i'm so happy i'm i'm not because of like the numbers but just like it's really nice to be somewhat decent at something uh, i think we all have that like imposter syndrome at things that we do and we i have that sometimes with youtube as well but i will say that me doing youtube is the one part of my life except gaming where i've had the least imposter syndrome because it's like sometimes i stay, say stuff that are weird and sometimes i express myself in the, not the best way and my editing is not always on point and blah, blah 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 but at the end of the day i'm pretty good at this and i like doing it uh so this has just been a very wonderful time for me and a wonderful community for me to to experience and this just makes me so happy that other people agree <laughs> 
So I am going to log into World of Warcraft. I am going to have a video tomorrow. It's going to be my new makeup releases. And if you're here right now, I'm going to give you a secret because I have an expected delivery tomorrow for the new Natasha Denona palette. So hopefully I will have that one up as well tomorrow because I want to try it. I want to try it. Okay. So there might be two videos tomorrow as well. So hold on to your panties. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here during this live. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for leaving all the sweet, wonderful comments. And yeah, and even if you don't leave comments, just you being here, that's, that's enough. Again, thank you so much and have a good evening. I'm going to go. I'm going to go and uh, play some World of Warcraft. Bye. <laughs>